it's amazing how many women will say, I want a sense of humor. That's one of the top things that they look for. Relationship expert Brenda Ross says women care a lot less about looks than men, especially since many women have careers and money of their own. We don't need men for anything except the things that are really important now, which is love and, you know, compatibility and friendship. I think that one of the biggest mistakes people make when they write a profile, they don't realize that they're being negative. Huh. Uh, like what? Give well, an example of that. Let's say that I've, um, you know, had some bad luck and my last three boyfriends, you know, dumped me and for no reason. And so I'm a little bitter. So I might write, you know, I, no liars or jerks, please. <laughs> Something like that. Okay? And people don't realize that this is a very negative thing. Yeah. And it comes across as, hi, I have issues or I'm going to be a lot of hard work if you don't <laughs> know me. And so y you have to, when you write a profile, you want to keep it really short and right. sweet and witty and positive. You know, you can tell when somebody's boasting, right? Don't tell me that you're a tantalizing lover. You know, let me find out on my own. <laughs> Don't tell me that you have a sense of humor because you're going to be able to show me right. what you write. If you have some photos of yourself and you're not sure which ones you, wanted, you want to post, uh, I did a trick with a friend of mine, and we took some pictures of her, right? We had some casual shots and some glamorous ones, and we liked the glamorous ones. We thought she looked great, and we showed it to guy friends, and they all like the casual one. And we're like, why? And they said, because she looks more approachable. Hmm. So my tip is, show the photo to your friends of the gender that you're looking for. Hmm. Now, show three photos, OK? Hmm. One nice close-up, um, one where you're dressed up really nice, you know, where you feel good about yourself. Maybe you went to a party or something like that. And, and then I say, um, a candid shot. Where you're doing something fun, you're having a good time, you're not looking at the camera, you know, one of these. <laughs> something like that. What I notice with profiles is I think guys are pretty honest, I think, because I'm looking through them all and, you know, and they seem to be the ones that want the most help with makeovers. I'm not getting enough hits. What do I do? If you really want to connect with somebody, like, for me, I love horror films, okay? And they're going to connect with me mm. and somebody that gets it <clears throat> is going to respond in kind. It's are not just online dating advice, but relationship advice. You know, if you need help with any aspect of your relationship, I can help you with that. You can log on immediately, you can start up a profile immediately, you can sit here for a few hours and you can pick out, you know, 50 guys that you want to go out with and then send them all letters. And if you have a photo and you have a cute little, you know, I would say cute little profile, meaning keep it short, you know, keep it positive, um, you'll probably get a lot of responses back. There used to be more of a stigma with online dating, but it's going away pretty rapidly. It's like... When the telephone first came out, people were like, what, what is that? You know, why can't you just send a letter? But now it's a mainstream tool that we use all the time, and we wouldn't think of it, you know, any, any way other than, you know, I have to have this in my life. I have to have three or four of them, and I see that's where online dating is going.